any of you are wondering about my shoes, oh yeah, we have shoe cam. All right, let me slow down and back up. We're gonna see the shoes, here it comes. These are not sifter extendable strainer and collar. You're gonna see those in a moment. These are from Deer Stag. And they are awesome shoes. Be sure and ask your operator about them. They come, I believe, in two colors, in gray and black. Three colors, navy as well. They're navy also, navy also. So we're gonna tell you all about those. But in the meantime, the graphic you see on the screen is not for the shoes, but they are available to talk to the operators. <laughs> Chef Rick Roman is here. Hello. You look so bright. <laughs> look at you. It's fantastic. Very, it's, it's the elegant evening wear lighted attire. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see that. All right. <laughs> Chef Rick Roman is back with us, and he brings us an expandable strainer and colander from a well known brand here on QVC called Sifter. Sifter, you know the brand, David. We have that ingenious can strainer. Well, now yes. we have an ingenious expandable sink strainer that can go and rest over any sink because it goes from 13 and a half inches all the way up to 19 7 inches. So the great. beauty of this, it's a narrow design. What does that mean? You get maximum capacity, but you still have use of your sink. So let's say we want to try to strain our pasta. Here's what I love about it. I have three pounds of pasta here. Check this out, David. Cavatappi pasta. Cavatappi pasta. But here's the beautiful thing, right? Once the pasta is strained, the thing I love about Sifter is I can now take this, close it. Notice something, David. On the bottom, the holes actually seal so I can transfer my pasta and not dribble all, and over, not the dribble floor. all over and then I can take my pasta, put and it into my salad. dish and Look make a beautiful pasta salad. So it's got incredible capacity. And here's the other thing, David, it's super lightweight. The thing that amazes me about this, this is a 10 pound weight. Oh, 10 pound weight. It's not going to collapse because it's sturdy and rigid, yet it's incredibly lightweight. And what do they always say when you strain pasta? Yeah. Keep it together so it stays hot, right? Exactly. You keep it in there because if I'm building a mac and cheese, I'm doing it in layers. Yeah. I'm building it like a lasagna, right? Yeah. So I'm going to put cheese on the bottom of the pan and then I'm going to put some noodles, yeah. then a little butter, then more cheese, a little more butter, a little more uh, pasta, a little more cheese. Look at all this. Look how nicely it drains everything. And think about this because of this design, it's the narrow and long design. I still have full use of my sink. I'm not putting my pasta or my vegetables in that dirty sink. And when the time comes after I've strained it, I collapse it down, okay? I give it a little pack because all the water now is strained. And then I can take this over to my dish mm -hmm. and dump it out. And the beauty of this, David, is that it's so lightweight. I just want you to feel super lightweight. But you saw me, I put a 10 pound weight in there. So it's 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 gonna be very easy to manage for people that maybe don't have a lot of hand strength. Is there any assembly when we get this out? No assembly whatsoever. This is how and it comes how best to. to clean it. Top shelf in the dishwasher. Top shelf, or you can hand wash it. Either yeah. way, whatever uh, works for you. And we have color choices, yeah, and we sure. have uh, three of them. Yes. Yeah. All right, let me grab my card so I make sure I, okay, they, they, they are called what they look like. Okay, <laughs> this is the green. Sometimes it's like some weird name. Uh, then we have blue and we have red, but the most limited is the green. Yep. Yeah. So these are very, very popular. They're from the same brand that make those circular covers for cans. For cans, correct. Sifter, we right? want to make a more efficient design for your kitchen. Now, here's another great use of it. You still have full use of the rest of your sink, but now I can wash some dishes. I can drain some dishes. I can put my dish rag in here. But here's another thing I love to do. I love to store my fruits in the refrigerator mm -hmm. closed like this, but then when it's time to rinse them, I open it up. It easily expands, and now I can simply rinse my fruits and my vegetables, just like this, let them drain off, right? When I'm done rinsing and draining them, David, I and can... And hopefully your sink doesn't sound like it needs a tum. No, I know. <laughs> All right. Um... I let it drain off, and then I close it, and I can put this either back in the refrigerator or bring this to where I'm going to cut and prep. Because we come home from the farmer's yeah. market, what's the first thing we have to do? We have to rinse the vegetables and the fruits, right? Oh, yeah. This is going to be a great way for you to be able to do that. And we're going to take the, uh, the work out of the prep work. Now, this is a good way, and, and I'm glad that we had some bad pieces to this onion because yeah. you can cut out the bad parts. Because sometimes you, you buy a perfectly, seemingly wonderful looking vegetable at the grocery store and you get home oh, and yeah. there's a black part to it. So you have to cut it out. This is ideal because now as you're prepping your food, you're peeling your food, and who among us during this holiday season hasn't been doing a lot of this? Yeah, I tell you what, this is one of my favorite things to use it for. I do all my prep, I put all my scraps, and when the time comes, I close this up, I can take this to the garbage, dump this in the garbage. Or the compost pile. And the beauty, I keep saying this, David, look at how much of my sink I still have. So I'll take this one out here. I still get full use of my sink, 
I get three quarters of my sink because it's a long and narrow design. That's one of the things about Sifter. Design something that's smart and easy to use, but efficient in the kitchen. And whether you have a smaller or larger sink, this goes all the way up to 19.7 inches. Maybe, David, you're doing a big batch of beans. And you're doing a and huge says, batch of chili. And the recipe says strain the liquid. Strain or the liquid. Or you're making chili, and it says, now, for New Year's, if you want to do pork, okay. black-eyed peas, a little sauerkraut, uh -huh. and some apples, that's a nice little configuration. And, and this is beautiful, David. This is my favorite part. I close this up, OK? Most of the, once most of the liquid's drained out, okay, I give this a little bit of a wipe, and sure. it, it closes up those holes so you don't get a ton of spillage. And then I can take it and transfer it and put it into the bowl that I'm going to mix and, and prep in. It's just a, a, a really smart and convenient design that expands and contracts as you need it with the sink. All right, we are almost out of time, and what we want to do is wrap this up and remind you there are three color choices. We have the red, the green, and the blue. They're all available for you. We have a trivia question for you. Trivia? Yes. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you four possible answers to this question, and we're going to announce the, the answer to the question at the end of the show. Okay. All right. What was the first song ever played in space? Now, hint, it was a Christmas song. Okay. Was it A, Jingle Bells, B, Blue Christmas, C, It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year, or D, Jingle Bell Rock? I'm gonna go blue Christmas because the earth kind of looks blue from out there. A good I, guess. I mean, that's that's my thought. All right, we're going to share the answer in now 59 minutes. Okay. I'll, so I'll, if you are not driving home at that time, I'm gonna check. Tune in. All right, sir. Happy holidays. Happy to holidays. You. Merry Christmas. All right, let's check in with Steve Doss and Chelsea. Ooh.